Welcome to Future Proof Plays. I'm going to be playing Samorost 3 today. Uh, Samorost is by uh, Amanita Design. They're a Czech studio. This is from 2016. Uh, they also, so I haven't played the first two Samorost games, so it's my first Samorost. And uh, they also made a game way back in the day called Mechanarium, which I'd seen some of but never played myself. Uh, so they make beautiful, lovely games. So I'm very excited to finally put my mitts on one of them. But this, Future Proof Plays, um, is a roughly bi-weekly <laughs> stream series that Greg and I do. Greg is in chat, the other half of our studio, Future Proof Games. Um, and every two weeks, we pick an indie game that we think either shares some values or shares something about the work we do uh, that we think is interesting to show off so um yeah so here we are i'll talk a little bit about news and stuff as we go uh, but for now let's get going y'all let me know if audio is okay and decently balanced the music seems very loud in my ears so i'm having to mess with it a little bit I'm so small compared to my housing structure and the camera view. Pretty damn cool. All right, one second. Let me boost game audio for y'all a little bit. All right. Oh, I have little feet as, as a cursor. Sort of trying to get a sense for like, like if I if I click on the middle of the ladder, will they go up to the next level automatically, or will I need to, to guide them along? Yeah. Ooh, a book. The amount of sort of drawn textures here, like the intricacy of how everything has this like textured and tactile look to it, like. It's, this is amazing. It's amazing. Okay. So, we have some sort of space creature. Shooting at a squid type thing with death in its eyes. Space squid consumes a planet poops it out a 
little piece of that. Has some people with some horns. Oh, different place. Uh oh. Some of this art style also reminds me of. There's a game that Greg and I did a co op stream of to varying uh, technical success on the streaming part, where we were building a ship and trying to get to Mars in the number of days, and I think the number of days is the name of the game. Uh, but there's something about this little trio of pictures here where this, this person's building a, a robot that reminds me of that game. I'm not sure we archived the stream of that co-op game because from an audio standpoint it was far below our usual standards. All right, we have a robot. We arm it. Oh, robot's got some rockets. Oh, the robot does some damage. Quarters up the squid. Oh no. They have a robot there. What is happening? Okay. Weird swirls in the air from the music, perhaps? Huh, okay. Hmm. 39 days to Mars. It was a lovely game, but it got repetitive after a while. Huh. What? This is unsettling. This is the sky. Very cute. <gasps> oh no, I'm scary to them. Okay. So this told me to, to give me a symbol that I should play this horn. But I missed all the instructions because I was messing with audio. Oh, there's the... Okay, got it. Well, okay. <gasps> what? Okay. I see. Okay. And only when little burbles appear. Okay. Well... Let's go out in the world. <clears throat> See what we got. Holy shit, y'all. Look at this art. I can't just say, keep saying, holy shit, look at this art. But also, and look at that little guy back there. middle setting there. Something super interesting to me about these games from a game design standpoint is that you're not really controlling the little dude. You can affect things as they can't. That's, yes. Okay. Let's bring you back. Send you down. 
then the question is going to be can I get on this and ride it over and I think the answer Oh, there are middle settings. Okay. Silly me. Okay. And then... I wasn't able to control the... So I am controlling the person in the sense that the entity, the little guy, must be near the controls to use them. But, so my first thought was, okay, lower this, come down here, hop on it. Um, I mean, or not. I would expect this to be it, right? if it's a little lower. I don't know if I can fall on things. Apparently not. And all the way to the bottom is too high for the bottom. Well. No. Yeah, definitely too high. So what if I put this... Hmm. The fact there are basically no options for jumping? Okay. Or even... Getting... Walking into the space. Yeah, I might I'll might just go back and go west. Let me see what what happens. If I can get that deer to come help me out. That'd be great. Deer like entity. Well, one more thing. Can I go? Is there anything different? Like, is there a... Wow! Oh. Oops. Sorry, I banged into my microphone. Oh. Yeah, okay. I was thinking. All right. go back. Sorry. Sorry. Clang, clang, clang. Ooh. Ah, oh, I got a little reflection. I like how I'm like a master horn player like, immediately. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> the amount of joy. And the little shrug. So, my read on that little story that we got told is that this is an entity that could fly and that would perhaps let us ride along. There's there's a little us in there. So is there Okay. So maybe we keep exploring. I don't see any sort of like I don't have scissors although that seems like it'd be cruel anyway so let's keep walking around a little bit and see if anything coalesces into a puzzle that I recognize as a puzzle oh okay Oh, why hello. It's a person. I'm very small. Okay. A capsule that consists of a chair, a computer, and a lid, and a base. did miss it. I need to be... I need to just step a little more granularly. All of those noises sound like they were made by a human being. Just somewhat troubling. Okay, so if I get a knife. Oh, there's a little marker of the tool maker being down here. I'm gonna talk to that little that little entity. Same thing, same thing. Can I go into this person's home slash workspace? No. I like, I like that my little character, my little gnome, looks over edges when they're at them. Okay, so, I need a knife. Conversation does not produce 
items. Every backpack game is different. Oh, conversation can produce items. Oh! Look at me! Hey, dear. Can we talk? Mm, nope. Alright, alas. But perhaps can I get anywhere else? I mean, I see this path you're taking, dear. Come back over here and show me how you left this pedestal. how shy this deer is. Lying in wait in the in the cave itself. Yeah, I am not. It does seem sufficiently hidden that the deer might not notice me. Oh. The fact that my little gnome looks at the camera. Will you come up to where I am? Come back. I'll get you next time you're over here. So cautious. Come on out. Okay. No! Damn it. Oh, did I have an arrow icon that was pointing differently? Okay. I will catch that. Oh. Ah! Oh, I'm just gonna... Oh. I just got extremely excited about whatever. Okay, so that book remains the same. Does this mean I can jump? Whoops. Nope. 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 I saw... Nope, it's crawling back in the cave. Yeah, cursor changes are very important in this game. If there's a pixel hunt in this game, it is for... What the fuck? It is for cursor changes. Two, 
three. One, two, three. Can this rotate? It can. Probably should have noticed this before. I don't like I don't like UIs that are just symbols. In fact, I actively dislike UIs that are just symbols with no words. It's so frustrating to try to figure out what iconography the devs were thinking of. All right. Oh, well. Here's my hint book. Look at these little creepy eyes and hands. Okay. Well. Ah. And there'll be a little, some sort of crane involved. Oh. And I know where that little bump is. Okay. That's this, I think. So I don't seem to have any, like, additional jump ability, right? Like, I did not gain leap like a deer, as far as I can tell. So what was that for? Oh god, I have to do this puzzle every time I want to look back at this book? Y'all can miss me with this. I was on board with a cool ass book. Hmm, okay. So the kicker is. If I step here, do I get a... There we go. is that this does feel like a dead end. I mean, is this the computer-y device I'm supposed to take? can't solve everything with what's on the screen. Okay, so talk to the bug wow. space. Bug hole. I should mention that I am not, there's no way I'm going to finish this game. At, uh, how long to beat says uh, four and a half to five hours, and especially at this pace, no way that's happening in two to three. I wish I could talk to the fish. Okay, so I think you're... This little bubble is chilling until I... find a way to... Wait, there's no acoustic... So I found a way to assemble its pieces. I should finish the sentence. Yeah, there's no little wavy bubbles here. Let's see what's in my house that I might have missed before I go back and try to, uh... Oh, 
don't really have running water. Um, let's try and figure out the levers. Okay, so I got the book. <gasps> getting a dream of my current quest, I guess. Very cute. I wish my dog could go with me. Well. Ha. Huh. Wake an animal. Gets up. Goes to the bathroom. Goes back to sleep. That's all tracks. Alright. We are back here. Oh. Well. Oh. I want to know more about who the camera is relative to this little guy. Because it just waved at the camera. They just waved at the camera. I don't know how to place my mic so that I don't hit it when I waggle my arms around. little feet very briefly. So, uh, philosophy aside, do you think the player is in the game? I know I briefly saw feet on the previous setting. Oh. The solution is not to get on the moving piece of bamboo. Okay. Well. Oh. You're right. You're right. You're right. This bamboo is chipped, which means that perhaps. Yep. Worse that time. I'm thinking a nudge higher. So repetition didn't worsen it. There were two knocks that hit it and made it worse. But hitting those spots again has not finished the job. What if I bring it all the way up? Nope. One more time? Okay, it didn't get... Hmm, okay. Alright. Oh! My excitement and enthusiasm is infectious. Wait, wait, wait. There's a person over here. Is 
It's also a... Oh, this person moves around. This game does not have a Simon Says mechanic, <laughs> where I have to repeat the noises. Okay. when I do all of this. I'm somewhat concerned. <gasps> Shouldn't have been. Someone's happy. Can we talk? We cannot talk. Not easily. See what happens as mushrooms get taken. Looks like I cannot take any. Aha! what I was shown. This is very cute. But what am I doing? Okay. This person's rubbing their tummy. So I wonder if they are hungry? If I split this person. Then they go back to their little space. I do feel like fire might be a key here. fun right now, so I'll pass on hints. <laughs> oh. Okay, I was gonna say, is the little mammoth gone forever? Okay. So. Let's try coming from different perspective like you just run over the water 
Oh my goodness, I swim. Okay, these are sad, hungry people for sure. We have hunters. We have a bow person. What happens if I... Mmm. What happens if I do this? Okay, you need a place to go. And that place needs to be to the right. Okay, okay. So all you told me was to make a, a happy home, I'm guessing. Let's see what my hint book says. I'm curious whether this thing is going to be particularly worth messing with. Oh, that's not how that's going to line up. Wow. Okay. Holy shit. doing a whole thing. Okay. So, Mammoth and Fire gets me a toasty Mammoth. We're going through seasons. We're going through seasons? Spring, summer, fall, winter? What the fuck? Is this real? <laughs> oh, dead man because his eyes are closed. I see. Okay. All right, so dead mammoth, fire, gives me spring. Hunted pig, dead pig, fire, gives me spring and summer. Mushrooms fished over a fire, gives me bait to fish with. Fish in a fire. Gives me all the way through autumn. And then a deer, mushroom, bow person. Archer. Gives me a dead deer. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's see if we can produce new cards is kind of what I've been missing, right? Like, I'm not getting anything new as I've been doing this so far. Okay. Alright. So I don't think I worry about the home card at all quite yet. Okay, that was Fisher person. 
Okay. So that was. Oh, Mammoth is immediately going to. Ah. Do I have you as a card now? I do. Okay. But you don't... The arrow did not harm the mammoth. Yeah, you're right. Which means it needs to be... I've had cause to read about pit traps recently. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so I have cooked, cooked food. There we go. Okay. And do you keep this status? Good. Okay. Oh, and this card stays blank. Excellent. Okay. Then I feel like it was... I don't think it's water that's gonna go there. Oh, right. Okay, cool. They're so happy is adorable. All right. You get out of the way. You need to collect a mushroom. Weird way to get a mushroom, gotta say. This gets us a fish. Also, weird way to fish? Whoa. That didn't go, that didn't, that didn't work out great. And now you don't have a mushroom anymore. Okay. So let's set up so you can throw the thing onto the fire? What am I missing? Do you need backup? Do you need like friends to help you kill it? I do still have- oh, that- your uh, mention of the mushroom card is probably slightly outdated. No, my task is to catch a fish. fish in that water. Okay. What if I try... Awaken something. <laughs> okay, I was, I was afraid the deer wasn't gonna come back. Okay, so let me get that mushroom back on the hook.
And then... I, mean, I could just cook the mushroom. Is that a thing I can do? Ah. Does this... Does this work? Okay. Still adorable. Alright. I think I could just leave you in that spot. Now, did I look far enough down to see to remember the exact pattern how this deer situation is going to go? What if that is tantalizing to the deer? Oh, you look happy. Ah, you look sick. Maybe we shouldn't be eating poisoned deer. Okay. Oh, and there's a baby. Thanks, friend. Okay. The little shrug that's very clearly like, nothing to do here, or I don't know what to do here, is great. Alright, let's get ourselves... Can I come down this way? I don't see any... Shake a bush. I didn't get any more little audio bubbles. Okay, good. No more bizarro puzzles. I now have just free passage. While I'm toddling. Oh. <gasps> oh. Hi, puppy. Um. I should mention, we were in the um, TTRPGs for Trans Rights in Florida bundle that ran for about three weeks. It just ended this morning at like 6 a.m. Um, but they, uh, We've, you know, Greg talked about it on their last stream, and we've tweeted and toasted about it. Uh, but at the end, they managed to raise over $280,000 for the two charities. Um, one of them being a, a youth, uh, LGBT youth uh, organization called Zebra Youth, and the other being the Trans Inclusive Group, which is sort of a community my understanding is it's more of a kind of a community organization type of thing um so that is cool um if you bought that bundle you got both rosette diceless and its companion i believe is that a thing i can do that is a thing i can do I love small characters carrying big things. Alright. So you have the bubble. You have the entity. Okay. You need a base, a chair, a computer.
There's no getting into this cave. I remain confident. <laughs> There's no way I can just take a piece of that. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Have I seen any chairs yet? Also, can I take that control device for the bridge as my computery thing? Do one more check, make sure there's no chairs in my house. There are no chairs in my house. My house is chairless. This does not look like a computery thing. What? It is a computery thing, perhaps. Yep. I like how I just barge into this person's personal space <laughs> and set a thing down in front of them. Okay. So. Since there can be that degree of difference, I am going to go get the stool that's in the bathroom of my house. Which I feel like might be a sufficiently cherished chair. Yeah, I, this is, uh, so, I don't remember if this crap person is familiar with you from a previous game. I don't, I should, if, I don't know, this is proving fun, I may pick up the other two. Okay. So that basin... So the hint book definitely mentioned this thing. Maybe just as a general. <laughs> you can listen to it, but... Other than that steam pipe thing coming off of the side of the craftsperson's building, what sort of metallic bowl shapes Oh. Can I take the top of my own house? Can I take the stand? Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I take my bathtub? That's going to be a that's going to be a tough walk. I am extremely tiny. Then again, I, a human being of human being size, would not want to carry a bathtub particularly far. Oh good, I'm glad I didn't have to construct the this system. I'm still stunned at how gorgeous this game is.
How did we wire this up? Are we leaving our little world? It looks like some sort of award-winning animated short. It really does. And to be fair, this thing won multiple awards, like IGF award and something else. Oh, that's so cool. Returning people's stuff. Oh, I have arrows indicating direction. I also did not notice how much this thing looks like a critter, potentially, like a mouth and an eye. But also, there's the big old bolt. Okay. Do I go up or down? Let's see what happens if I go up. I don't feel particularly in control of what was happening there other than a single click. Oh, it ran out of air. That's cute. What are these creatures? These entities? Are they creatures? Are they worlds? They have weirdly shaped bugs. Pimple on this world. <laughs> what happens? Oh. Okay. Am I doing a bad? I'm just thinking my goal might be to get them all in a single column, but since the grumpy one got converted. Yeah. Alright. Let's, uh, restart that little thing. Oh, yes, because the spikes, the spokes were filling up again with red ones. Yep. Okay. So. Let's push a red one off. Oh, it can go up to four. Damn. Okay. Let's 
have to clear out that row, I think. That caught that spoke of all the reds. Because I could have gone the other direction if I had realized that it would. is most assuredly not the most efficient way to do this. I apologize if this is tedious. The way this whooshes when I turn is making me curious as to like what's actually happening. Like, am I is this some sort of propeller? Or is these little things just sighing as they get whirled around? I hope I don't have to evenly distribute these. That moves into tedium. Ugh. Fine. Okay, you want me to go down in the sphincter? Oh. Whoa. Why, hello. <laughs> As we often say about the speedrun tech for this game is bizarre, almost definitely. What is the uh, world record on speedrun? World record any percent is under 45 minutes. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> it's great when the little gnome echoes me. Let's see. Is that a keyhole? Well, are you 
only here for your acoustic value? I guess so. So, there are things about this game, not mechanically, but visually, that remind me of the game Glitch. The defunct game Glitch. Like crawling down in little spaces that are cavernous and weird and uh, rather singular purpose. Okay, I'm thinking that this might not be a place to get a key. It might be that I go someplace else for a key and come back. The skeletal animation of Glitch also has similarities. Yes, yes, uh, also has similarities to this animation. That's a really good point. Um, that's very true. Love a slide. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this again. I don't like that. Did I try putting my horn in that keyhole? <laughs> All right. Okay, he is not here. At some point, I will feel satisfied that the horn is literally only for the bubbles. Oh, I made a little adventure noise. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, okay. Whoops. Oh. That's... Mm -hmm. Should have known. Down arrow. Uh, uh, Take me out. Mm -hmm. Up arrow. Very cool. Look at this. Holy shit. It's like a... Definitely got sort of mammoth vibes with the trunk. Sort of sense of furriness. I love the idea that, like, this ship creature is, in fact, deflating itself as it flies. I wonder if all the planets have a correspondence to the cards in that game. Oh. Oh, shit. That would be so cool. This is another glitch-like space. A glitch has been deceased as a game since maybe 2013 or 2014? Because I remember playing it a lot in 2011 and 2012. And then, I guess I should say clearly, the company that made glitch became Slack, like the communications tool. Um, Game dev was presumably not lucrative for the amount of staff they wanted to keep. And they were probably already using something like the tool Slack for internal communications. So they switched to that. We rotate things, we do rotate things. Well, 
I don't rotate things. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit of a... Nah. <laughs> All right. How we... How quickly will you let me do this? Okay, what does that do? Does that allow some sort of glue to happen? What is it? Is this helping? Nope. Nah. Yeah, Slack was originally an internal tool for communication on Glitch, if I remember the lore. Yeah. Uh, so the speed at which this must be done is somewhat harrowing. Can I assemble pieces on the ground? I'm gonna oh. see if I can get adhesive from somewhere. If you're repairing a broken pot, do you just have to assemble it quickly? No, I need it to stick together. Oh, adhesive, okay. A door? This is a house, it has a chimney. Oh, hey there. I've met your equivalent. Huh. Do I need a, a bass clarinet to play this back? These antenna are not pluckable. Thank you, Greg. Okay, Didn't, wasn't sure whether I was going to come out here on the left or on the right. Filling this. Oh no! I'm a monster. I smoked this person out of their house. Okay. Let's first take this path offered. I misunderstand?
all right. Well, it's not that hole. Maybe it's this hole. All right, let me be a douche again. to be fucking with nooses. I don't actually want to... Do we have any hint of the numbers that doesn't involve me working through this completely procedurally? <laughs> Troubling, but also fucking gorgeous. I like the idea of just exploring the world, making music with things. this the mating of two okay so I see the two antenna of each I wasn't sure if the other bug was being folded into this as well where I'm going to come out. Can oh. I oh. talk to this person now? Oh. Nope. Oh. Do you have a key? Could I... Could you just cough up a key, please? Forgot about that key for a second. I'm just here to see the world. You took notes. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Presumably I get the same story again if I listen to the critter. So far we've not really seen there be a 
progression of conversation. That's right, I'm still here for glue. Well, I still need some glue, I guess is really the better way to say that. I guess I could see if I can get back over here and then maybe climb on the bug person? Bug entity? Which I guess I have to smoke them out again? Let me see. Did I. Have I missed anything? I'll be damned. Well, alright. Hi. Uh, what happened in the story the bug told? The two... Oh, lord. Hmm. Woof. Uh. The two kinds of bugs swirled together and made a new kind of bug. Huh. This... I still on the same place? Kind of. What did they do in the middle on a low level? I guess I didn't fully catch that? Oh. I'll go back and play with the... Oops, let me not click way out of the window. By swinging my mouse. Do -do -do. Oh. All right. We'll go back. One, three, three, four, two, I think is the... Combination. Everything is reset. Yeah, I think I have to- I do have to do the three twice. But it won't. That alone. And one again. All right. Tell me your story again. Two bugs. sequence. Oh, you said you took notes. I'll take notes real quick. It won't take long.
Oh, that's a lot of numbers. Okay. Let's let's see what happens. Get so crunk about things. I love it. What is this? How does this do? Oh no! Don't drop it. Not row. Y'all have to do this damn sequence again. I do. No, wait. Okay, insane. Come back to my inventory. Okay, good. Whew. All right. Is there anything else to do here? I don't. I don't know that there is. I think I'm going to take a short break soon. Stretch my legs. Refill my water. Oh, double. The, uh, it wasn't the same. I think the twos at the end were doubled. Doubled instead of tripled? Because I have the final notes as three twos. Well, let's go back up here and Remember how I was like, well, there's not a Simon Says type mechanic in here where you're just repeating things. One more time. Three, four. One, two. I only see one difference in those sequences. Let's see what happens. And I might have misnoted it. Yep. I see what you're saying the difference is. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's try it. Oh, come on, reset. So they hit the third two. might be it. Hmm. 
Is it feasible to, like... end up somewhere where the bug is something I can interact with? Let's see. There's no smoke coming out of that hole. So this person is no longer botherable. Which is probably good, ethically. Morally. Okay. So, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, I should be back within five minutes. Hello, I'm back. I have fresh water. I turned on a light that I should have turned on before I started streaming. 
it's cold in my house. So the fact that I'm drinking ice water is not helping. All right, let's move along. I think, looking at the time, let's see where getting the key takes us. And I might call it after we unlock whatever's behind that little door. Whoa. I think I saved the life of a critter. Huh. That's cool. I lost my swirl as a as an entity, as an inventory item. Don't seem to have options. It being the collection of skills or whatever. Well, this is fun. Hmm. Don't like the look of this. snoring. Oh. Okay, so Woken all of you up. Gotta turn up the volume for this one. doesn't sound as good. Not that I have seen yet. Oh, there it is. actual instrument is that? Okay. Seven o'clock, eleven o'clock, one o'clock. Seven, eleven, one. Look at 
Look at my dancing. I'm the best dancer. Stunning. I've won the game. I don't actually want to mess with this. else I should do here. This music is very good. So this game is 20 bucks on itch and for like three bucks more you can get the soundtrack as a part of a bundle. We have now made a nightclub. Okay, so if I, is there more that can come out? No. I feel like this just represents what I already did. Can I put myself standing here and then get whatever this gross morsel is? Okay. What the fuck? That's gross. You're excited, but this is gross. This looks like glue, however. Well, we had good times, good jams. Yeah, jam critters for the win. I hope they have a good nap. I wonder how often someone comes through here and is like, hey, let's jam, jam critters. The fact that screens reset when you leave is... There's something about that that makes this game feel weirdly old-fashioned. Like, having a reset button is helpful for puzzle games, but like, I feel like I it, it gives it a very, I don't know, Mario feel? Like, something old-school where screens matter. Uh, which, it's not my... The manhole? I have never heard of the manhole. What happens? 
Oh. Okay. Glue goes on pieces. Oh, I've already gotten that one. It's another hypercard adventure, a bit more animated storybook than Mist. Can you be convinced to do anything different than what you are currently doing? Maybe this is the happy state of events. There's no, there's no lateral movement I can make on this. Huh, shower had detached. All right. Can I climb up this thing? No, not particularly. Oh, that is up there. Let's see. What is east? Whoa. How low? I'm gonna guess this little baby doesn't jam. Spikes. Oh no. All right, we're gonna see if I can catch what that is that came out of its mouth. very abortive and there's no other Takes me off the screen. Cannot go back into those layers. Oh no! Oh no! I just have to take the bubble wrap approach as a first pass. It's very fair. Okay. Now I have some context for what I'm looking for. Out of the whatever this creature is that comes out of its It's fucking quick. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
M shape, going up two, down to the small one, up the three, down the four. Okay. What have you been doing over this hole? You've just been hanging out there. Whoa. Oh. Sorry, little critter. So my grip hand Good. Oh. I see. We have connected bits. Interesting. Okay. I'm here for this. I don't think I can jump. Yeah. So, do that. Oh, and I pull things as well. Yeah, this is a this is a cute puzzle. Except I say as I get stumped. There we go. Lightly stumped. Oh, so that didn't move at all. Here's the other half of this one. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I like puzzles where you figure out generally what you have to do. And yeah, and then you can just fuck with it until it works. I don't like puzzles where you can figure out an exact solution and then have to do a lot of busy work to implement it. Yeah. Oh, hi. Look at this. These two. Someone's water's or substance is warm. The other person's might be less so. Hmm. This is troubling. Okay. Oh, there's a acoustic thing. Okay. 
Okay. There's another one. Looks like a lever. Did I miss that that was a lever? I did miss that it was a lever. It's a lever I can't pull. dragging and nothing happened. Can I? Let me try the lever again. And I'm gonna guess now there's not steam Yep, there's no steam coming out of there anymore. No, 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 no. I clicked too vigorously. Okay. Let's go back up here. Take this pipe back. Let's reconnect that. Let's go back down. Okay. It's just weird about its dragging. So, I should now have steam again coming out of there. I have to click differently. I can't drag it any further. It, hmm. Okay. So let's put this pipe back down here. You can trace pipes visually and use the trumpet to listen to better figure out what's going on. Yeah. What's going on in here? Oh, the periscope and lever are a combination? Huh. Oh. It makes sense that this lever is only going to do something if a pipe is connected. Just... Because that's... Visually what's happening there. I think... Yeah, I think this thing running behind is just structural. Monkey friend. You mad? Oh, 
I see, potentially. Okay. Okay. So... Let's try... Is there only one piece of pipe that I can take? sound like now. I'm imagining that sounds less vigorous than it did before. That sounds... That sounds the same. I think the implication is that the root slash stalk on the right is connected to the thing pointing at the repaired pot above. Definitely sounds a little more crunk now. Okay. Right. Is connected to the thing pointing. Prepared a pot. Oh, this repaired pot. Sorry, I was thinking of it as a cup. That's why my brain wasn't working on that correctly. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, yes, I, I think you're correct. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Ultimately, a funnel. So, I have never, so far, gotten this water heated. Or maybe I... I guess I had originally thought steam was being generated from this rightmost bubble. Look, monkey, I sympathize. I don't like when my bath goes weird temperatures either. OK. 
Okay. So that is definitely more crunk. So I feel like I might be... The lever looks like a pump handle. Oh, like, am I supposed to do it repeatedly? Like... I mean, obviously. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Greg. That is a cultural thing. <laughs> So water can come out of there. Here's a... Can I connect? No. I cannot connect these two. I cannot do a vertical connection. What? <laughs> it's a European ass studio. You're right. I, you're, yep. Okay. Your water's warm. That seems somewhat crunk. Maybe everyone is satisfied. Though there has been no broader change in color scheme or whatever. There is a hole that I can go into. So I think I go back. Hmm. Well, that's a little tedious. Enthusiasm is just so great. Hi, turtle.
Which one do I need to tap again? Fuck. Nope. One, three, three, two, four, four? Nope. I do the long sequence again. <laughs> I think it's great that, you're no that the gnomes celebrate your mutual successes. I agree. Feels like I have a friend in the game. I don't think I like the figure out a puzzle sequence by trial and error thing. Yeah, it's not... I mean, this is not the worst. Oh, I got my little audio thing back, but I don't need it. Let me scratch up the one that I didn't have perfect. All right. What is this? This is so gorgeous. What is this thing? I guess I can't really, uh... Do anything like say hi. I guess I'll just... School. I do appreciate a character that shows that things take effort. Dusted myself off. All right, let's go see what the oh, some sort of boil. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Let's go see what the key does. Oh, my little adventure music is so good. Yes. Yo, yo, yo. Oh. oh, bowl, not boil. Similar structure, though. I've never heard of a root bowl. Wait. Any chance I can get away with this? Nope. Do I remember? This was a double. <gasps> the fruit bowl seems to be a phrase I invented. Excellent. Let's put that in the other direction again. Okay. Let's go see what happened. I mean, I see what happened, but let's see where we're going. First, let's see if there's anything, there's no acoustic thing here that magically appeared, which I think means we perhaps just changed mm -hmm. the direction this thing's going. Root nodule. Symbiotic structure containing nitrogen fixing bacteria. Mm -hmm. hmm. Uh 
Oh. I'm finally seeing how this navigation works in a way that is useful. Okay, so I said I would reassess after getting the key puzzle sorted. But okay, just look at this. Look at how much this succeeds at looking like <laughs> driftwood. A driftwood forest or whatever. Ugh. Like, but not photorealistic in a boring way. Yeah, these planets are... <gasps> Amazing, but now my sh ship is trapped or being given a hug. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I might call the stream here since each sort of big loop puzzle here has taken a while. This game's amazing. I'm going to keep playing it. This is outstanding. Uh, so this was Samorost 3. There are two other ones of these, although it sounds like this one is bigger, more ambitious, etc. Um, and it's on itch. It's actually also on phones, mobile. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so we are, this has been Future Proof Plays. We stream every couple weeks. Greg is up next. Um, and I do feel like you picked your next game, Gregory, even though I don't know that it's up on the stream schedule yet. Um, but this month we are putting out a newsletter. Um, so subscribe to our newsletter, uh, futureproofgames.com. It's in chat. Um, and I guess I should say, uh, in the past, we have put cat pictures in our newsletters. Um, and while I do have a large cache <laughs> of, um, of cat photos, my cat Greg passed away uh, last week on the 30th, um, so a little over a week ago. Um, so I don't have cats right now. I'm still very sad about it. I don't know that I want to be flipping through my hundreds of cat photos and then cropping one color correcting and all of that just not yet so it'll probably be a plant photo i think i have plants some of them are cool so anyway um on the 22nd gregory is going to be playing haven which looked really cool um and let's see newsletter samaras 3 that might be it it's a it's been a chill chill couple weeks especially with Greg the cat getting sick. Um, so that is all on that front, I think. Thank you all for hanging out while I play this amazing game. And uh, we will see you in a couple weeks over on Greg's channel. Thank you all. <laughs>